How y'all doing? Smelly here, John. You can call me Smelly, you can call me John, either one. You know where I am. I'm in Evansville, Indiana, here at More Music and MoreGuitars.com. And this is kind of a, almost a little bit of a first reaction video. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about the uh, Reverend Gil Paris. And this is his signature model. I guess he has a couple of different models. I just found that out today. And um, I'll get out of the way this real fast. This is one of my favorite guitars I've played in a very long time. It really is pretty fantastic. Um, and today we're also, I need to also point out, we're plugged into this Car Slant V. It is a phenomenal sounding amp. Um, this is, Larry and I are both in agreement. We love this amp and we hope that nobody ever buys it so we can keep it in here and play through it anytime that we want. But anyway, if you want to know about the amp, Absolutely, you can get on the website, moreguitars.com, and read a little bit more about it. We're going to talk all about the guitar. So if you've not heard of Gil Paris, don't feel bad. I hadn't really heard of him either, so I did a little bit of research. Uh, watched some clips. The guy is, like, he's, like, really good. So you should check him out. Um, he's kind of, he does a little bit of everything, it looks like. You know, um, he does rock, pop, uh, jazz, blues. So um, I would say somebody like that, they need a guitar that, has some versati versatility to it, and that's what we have here. So um, I am a little bit new to Reverend guitars anyway, like I've never owned one. Uh, most of the guitars we talk about I've learned, I've owned a version of it, but the, the Reverends are a little bit different for me, so um, this has been an enlightening moment for me. Uh, the playability is incredible, and the tones, um, I'm kind of blown away. Let's talk about some of the specs. So wood-wise, uh, you've got a roasted maple neck, which is cool, has that really nice satiny feel to it. Uh, roasted maple, you don't have to put a finish on. Uh, sometimes there are people that their biggest gripe with maple is that it has to be finished and can feel a little bit sticky. With roasted maple, you don't have to put finish on it, which is awesome. So it has, uh, like I said, that satiny feel. You know, um, it feels, and it feels natural, right? It's wood, should feel natural, kind of silly. Uh, the body's made out of Carina, and um, as far as that goes, everything starts going upgrade, I would say, from here as far as components on the guitar. Let's start up here, locking tuners. Let's just everybody say it together. We love locking tuners. You could really start putting those on everything. It just makes uh, tuning, or sorry, uh, stringing up your guitar so much faster. Um, oh, while it's flipped over, look at this, six of these. So it's got uh, six bolts where the neck attaches to the body, and that's to provide strength, and they say maybe a little bit more uh, sustain as well. Uh, I will say six of these, there's no way Pete Townsend is going to be able to smash this guitar, not without some help. Uh, up here, it's got a long string T. Um, and this is so it can hold down the third string or your G string and so that when you hit it there's no buzzing up at the nut. Sometimes you find that with um, guitars that don't have the angled headstock. Sometimes that third string can get a little buzzy. Let's talk about the nut. So the nut also it looks like bone but it's a synthetic bone that they call bonite which I don't feel like they spent much time trying to come up with a good name for it but bonite and uh, it shares some of the characteristics of bone. Um, it's a little bit more stable, and it's also, it creates uh, more, less friction when the strings move around, you know, back and forth on the nut. And that comes in more handy for a tremolo. This guitar actually does not have a tremolo on it, so you're not gonna have a whole lot of binding up here anyways. Uh, the neck is, 12 inch radius, very flat. So for some people, they like the flat radius. It feel, the strings feel like they're easy to bend. This is a guitar that is, is easy to play anyways. Um, and uh, I, I can't comment on whether the 12 versus 9.5 versus this or that. Um, in my experience, I judge all guitars just by themselves. But a, for a lot of people, 12 inch radius, that's another, that's another upgrade. Uh, medium jumbo frets, so nothing out of the ordinary there. And then we get down here to our electronics, which is pretty cool. You've got uh, two H-series humbuckers, and so they're in the PAF ballpark. And then you have the Salnico um, single coil in the middle, which is fun to say. It's a Salnico. 
Um, it's a Carina body and a Salnico pickup, which is pretty fancy stuff. Uh, you have a five-way switch, so it's more like an S style in that way, all the way down, of course, is your bridge. In the middle, you've got the, the bridge in the uh, middle pickup, and then that's all middle by itself, and then position four and position five. Uh, as far as your controls go, of course, volume. This is your tone, and this is what they call the bass contour, and we'll kind of listen to that in a little bit. Um, and it basically, basically, the bass contour, basically, you know what, you're just gonna have to hear it and judge for yourself because I can't really put it into words. It, it doesn't make it more bassy, just feels like maybe the frequencies aren't quite as wide when it's pulled back. Both, it sounds great though, the, all through the sweep, which we'll, we'll talk about actually uh, right now. I don't think I forgot any of the other features. There's a lot of stuff. This is a, like I said, it's, I mean, you could say with all the features that are on it, this is a custom shop level guitar for sure. So let's go through some of the sounds. Now, I think I was on the neck pickup, I think, when we first started. Um, and we'll go through the clean sounds first. <laughs> It's a great sounding neck humbucker. Now if we roll back the contour, so what I'll do, I'll, I'll hit it and let it ring out and then I'll roll it back. You can hear it's, it's usable in both spots. think it's a volume thing I really just do think it's kind of just a shift in the EQ I like it actually all throughout the sweep sounds cool probably most people are gonna like it all the way up though that's where it's most full sounding all right let's go to position four sound and we'll do the contour. Back up, let's go to the middle position by itself. With the contour. little anemic uh, in that setting but it could be just the right thing if for an effect though position two we got that kind of in betweeny sound put the contour down Oh, sorry folks, I'm a little all over the day, all over the place today, but it's because I'm kind of into it. So, a bridge pickup. The contour. It's kind of P90-ish range there when you have the contour all the way down. Let's throw on a little bit of gain. Uh, this is with the bass contour all the way down. Let's bring the contour all the way back up. Position two with the contour all the way up. And the contour.
to her all the way down. Definitely stratty territory there with the position two contour all the way down. And middle position contour all the way up. with the tone all the way, or con bass contour all the way down. It's actually pretty cool. See, I told you when we were on the clean that that would have, there would be a sound that that would work for. Pretty cool. All right, position four. Bass contour all the way up. down. Yeah, pretty cool. And then finally, neck pickup, contour all the way up. And the contour all the way down. Pretty cool. So it's a really versatile guitar when you kind of mix in, you've got three different pickups and then four-way switch and then also this bass contour. Uh, you can get a lot of sounds with it. Um, Larry, do they, do they make a model with a tremolo or not make a model with a tremolo? We don't know. <laughs> I can't tell about this year. They switch the specs every year. Okay, so maybe they do, maybe they don't. His other model, the other Gil Paris model does, it's more of a S style. Um, so this, there may be, this one does not. So if you want this guitar and you want a tremolo, you're going to have to put one in yourself. So, um, yeah, um, I, I do want to say this again. The playability is outstanding. This is a, one of the best playing guitars I've played in a long while. I'm completely smitten with it. And don't even get me started about the amp. I cannot... I cannot be thinking about gear right now. That is a really great sounding amp though. Oh my goodness gracious. So anyway, um, this has been a really fun video for me to make just because I love the guitar, I love the amp, and I love Larry too. He's such a nice guy. He's kind of our Obi-Wan Kenobi here. He knows a little bit basically about everything and I learn from him every time we have a conversation, which is cool um, because I've got a lot, a lot of learning to do. Anyway, uh, this is the Reverend Gil Paris, as the car, car Slant V. My name is John, you can call me Smelly. And if you're interested in any of this or anything else that you've seen in our, our videos, you can go on to our website at uh, moreguitars.com or you can call down here and talk to one of our friendly sales associates and they'll get you squared away. I appreciate you all watching and hanging out with me and I will see you in the next video.